All right, so I get a lot of questions. I've been in the ATM business for 24 years. I get a lot of questions as Bill, I like the ATM business. Sounds like a good investment, but is it gonna be here? So we're gonna address these questions and other questions that you guys ask about the ATM business. Number one question always is this. Hey, I hear about a, a CBDC, which is central bank digital currency. Is the government starting to issue this? If they are, how does that bode well for the ATM business? Am I gonna be out of business or am I gonna start a business that I'm gonna be out of? Here's the situation. The government is researching the central bank digital currency, CBDC for short. Now here's this issue. The US government is a world reserve currency. They have to figure out a way to still be the world reserve currency and issue a digital dollar. And some of the viewpoints on this is if they issue a digital dollar, they won't become the world's reserve currency. And guess what will happen to the US economy? Plummet. Also, you gotta battle Visa and MasterCard worldwide because they control a lot of the currency. So you got a lot of moving parts, a lot of uncertainty. Right now it's ongoing. It's still a long ways off. If it even will happen at all, keep in mind other countries who do implement these, they're on gold standard. We are not, which means we print money like water all the time. So they will not be able to do that if they issue a CBDC. So rest assured, this is an area that is a little concerning, but when you look at the grand scale of things, it's still gonna be a very hard thing to implement. Point number two, a lot of people are looking, well, Phil, I wanna get in the ATM business. I wanna get financing. How do I get financing? One of the ways that a lot of people get into the ATM business is they start out with friends and family to get money. They also leverage some of their credit cards. They have cash advances on credit cards or they buy their ATM from their credit cards. Here's the other thing. If you're in business for two or more years, I can help you guys get financing, but you gotta give us a call and I, we have contacts that can help issue financing for people who are in the ATM business. But you have to be in business for two or more years. So if you're thinking about starting your own profitable ATM business, but didn't know where to start, stay in the video and I will show you our checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start your profitable ATM business. So you can have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success. You can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, insurance. People are always asking us, Phil, I wanna get insurance for the ATM business. How do I get insurance? Who insures? What does that look like? Most of the time, insurance for the ATM business, unless you have over 10 ATMs, is not gonna be cost justifiable. You're looking at somewhere around $2,500 a year to insure your ATMs. If you have one ATM, that's not gonna be cost justifiable. If you have 10, now you're talking more. Uh, this could be it's $250 per ATM per year. So this is more cost justifiable. That will cover the ATM and the cash in the ATM and cash in transit. So those are your insurance options or you will have to do what we did in the beginning. We call that self-insured, which means you are not getting insurance if you lose the ATM or it gets broken and you, you eat the cost. We call that self-insured. Point number four, Phil, is the ATM business gonna be here? I'm looking at getting into the business. Is it gonna be here? I don't know. So cash has been here for a long time. It's gonna continue to be here. I'm still very bullish, which means I'm pro ATM business. The ATM ebbs and flows throughout history, but I am very optimistic and I still believe in the ATM business. It's the best rate of return in any business with very minimum effort, but there is some effort. So the ATM business is gonna be here. And point number five, finding locations. Just got back from a seminar. Everybody's talking about how do I find locations? How do I find locations? Please dominate one lane. I tell this over and over. Pick a lane, if it's hotels or gas stations, convenience stores, liquor stores, tattoo parlors, barbershops, bars, restaurants, whatever that lane is, dominate in that lane and be an expert. You'll make better relationships, you'll get more opportunities. If you spread yourself up over a bunch of different industries, it becomes very hard to dominate and you're not gonna get the locations that you're looking for. Please pick one lane, please dominate in that lane, become an expert and then from there, you'll be able to advance your business. All right, so if you're thinking about starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start your profitable ATM business. So you can start earning passive income, make more money for your family and spend more time with them also. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom at one transaction at a time. Thank you guys for making us number one on YouTube, and I'll see you over at the next ATM Mastermind video.